Roll her. Okay, tell me your name. Uh, my name is Donald Black Jr. And can you tell us where your artistic journey began and tell us what kind of work you do? Um, what kind of, where did my artistic journey begin? Uh, I would say my artistic journey began probably when I got to Cleveland School of the Arts when I was in the fourth grade. You know, I'd already been drawn a lot prior to, but I think my pursuit of being an artist kind of started when I got to the Cleveland School of the Arts. And what kind of work do you do? Um, I'm a photographer. I'm a visual artist, but primarily photography. So I'm a photographer. And has Cleveland inspired your artistic journey? Cleveland has definitely inspired my artistic journey. Um, I think at some point, you know, when I was living in New York, I realized that my favorite photographs at that time all were located in Cleveland. And I was noticing that my favorite pictures um, I had been taking when I was in Cleveland, even though I was living out of town. So um, me recognizing that really influenced me deciding to move back to Cleveland to create the work um, that I would that I would make in the future. Uh, do you have any best memories of Cleveland's East Side? Mm, my best memories of Cleveland East Side, Cleveland's East Side, um, generally is just when I was a kid. You know, yeah, my best memories are when I was a kid. I could think of the stuff me and my cousins would do, me and my friends. So, yep, memories of being a kid. And do you think any of those, has it changed? Like when you think of those memories, have they changed? And if so, how? Um, has the memories changed? Well, like if, or... you know, you and your cousins played and went outside and, you know, like, is it still like that now or? Okay. Well, now I find myself, I would say that the things that I was, you know, attracted to when I was younger I find myself watching those things. I find myself photographing those things. So it seems like the situations are similar or the, the situations that existed when I was a child still exist now. But instead of a participant, I'm the like the document, you know, I'm the, the photographer. I'm the one that documents the these event, these same similar events, you know, playing basketball, going sledding, all the stuff kids do. Um, so the situations are the same. Um, my role has changed. And can you tell me a little bit about Crossroads and why you want to be a part of it? Um, Crossroads is a project that the Sculpture Center is facilitating with a, kind of a small group of Black artists. Um, I wanted to participate because I recognize that it seems like there's opportunity starting to arise for black folks. Um, and I felt like I wanted to be a part of whatever this shift is in the landscape. So that's that was my biggest attraction to the Crossroads Project is seeing if I could contribute to the, the, the shift in attention to black artists. So why did you choose um, that community and specifically that site that you have? Um, the reason why I chose the site that I have was my original site was um, out of range, so to speak. Um, and then out of the different locations that were possibly available um, near the Schofield Mansion, I'm on the street that the Schofield Mansion is located on with, excuse me, with bike the bike life culture. So I just was really, really attracted to my site because I already, I'm already in that neighborhood. So I just thought that would be, that was very, very interesting to me to be able to bring some 
art to a site um, that's like located in an area that a lot of my photographic activity has already taken place. Mm -hmm. And kind of building on that though, do you, are there any issues or gems in that community that you want to bring attention to? Um, that community, I would love to bring attention to the kind of some of the inside world of bike life. Um, I see that as a gem that's happening right in that neighborhood um, that has a lot of misperceptions created by media and people's lack of information or lack of an inside perspective um, on the bike life culture. So ultimately, that's one of the gems that I want to be able to highlight. What does Still We Rise mean to you or your chosen community? Um, what does Still We Rise mean to me? It doesn't mean anything to me. Um, it's kind of like a cheesy little quote that's a reference from a poem. Um, and it comes with the connotation of being down. You know, I, I feel like oftentimes projects that I'm a part of are all trying to get black people to lift up and stand up. And to me, all that stuff applies, implies that we're down or sitting down or not doing anything. Um, so I don't personally subscribe to it at all. Uh, I find myself as a very active and proactive artist. Um, to the community, you know, I'm not sure exactly what Still We Rise means to the community. Um, it seems like to me that this a, that's kind of like a dated quote. Like, I feel like older people are all about Still We Rise. And, you know, I would say, you know, the 40 and unders is kind of like, um, it's time for action, you know, more than, you know, we are, we're still overcoming. Uh, what does community engagement mean to you and how have you included the community in this work? Um, community engagement to me means that an outside source is trying to um, dictate or do something into the neighborhood or into a specific community. It means that outsiders are, um, it's like outsiders are planning and plotting something is, is, is how I perceive community engagement. Um, and it usually, it, to me, it feels always, it always feels like a, like a checklist item, you know, like, let's make sure we did this and make sure we did this and make sure we did that. Um, it's not, it's not real to me, um, being a part of the community. Um, this project specifically, the community is a part of the, the photographs that I'll show at this site. So, I mean, that's the most significant way that the community has been involved in this project for me. What do you want the Crossword, Crossroads Art Exhibition to accomplish? Um, what do I want the Crossroad Art Exhibition to accomplish? I guess I, I'm more attracted to being able to see um, the different projects that the artists have created in their individual sites, all seen as a group collectively. You know, like we won't be able to experience it um, on the actual site location simultaneously. You know, so it's that to be able to culminate this project as one body of work. Is there anything else that you want to add? There is nothing else I would like to add. Shoo. Sure.